What if I told you, you can have your home assistant trigger automations based on you being you, based on your face? Sounds interesting? Let's find out how it's done. All right, guys, I'm actually very excited because in a few minutes, I'm going to walk through the front door of my house. My Unify Protect camera is going to identify my face. It's going to then alert Home Assistant. And Home Assistant is going to start an automation based on my face being identified. And this will actually be breaking the barrier from faceless motion triggers or present triggers. This will be entering the world of face-specific or person-aware automations, which is next level. This is actually taking a smart home to being smart and not just appearing to being smart. So first of all, let me show you how it looks like in real life. And then, of course, I'm going to show you how to do it in your home assistant. Let's go. It's happening. It's happening. Abby, welcome home. I have turned on the air conditioner, the kitchen lights and the coffee machine. It happened. All right, guys, just before we are getting started, just a quick, quick recap or summary of what we're trying to achieve here. At least currently, most commonly, our triggers are almost completely faceless. Like, for example, motion or, for example, presence. It doesn't matter. It doesn't recognize who created the presence or the motion. It's faceless. Of course, there are certain ways to get this smarter, like, for example, taking into account location tracking or using, for example, Bluetooth proxies spread across the house. But then you need to walk around the house with your phone, which is a bit unnatural. And this is what we are trying to achieve. We are trying to achieve a situation where the smart home actually, actually identifies a person, a face. In this case, by the way, the face is the face of Lars Klimt, my great friend. If you haven't subscribed to Lars's channel, go ahead, do yourself a favor and subscribe. It's one of the most enjoyable tech channels on YouTube. So in, in, in the flow here, the camera identifies a person. It's not, it's not anymore a faceless trigger. It's a face aware trigger. The camera de then tells Unify Protect it identified a face. Unify Protect already create, we will already create a trigger or an alarm that once a certain face is identified, we will send a webhook message to Home Assistant and Home Assistant triggered by this webhook will do whatever we want it to do in an automation and this really breaks the faceless triggers barrier it brings a whole new dimension to a smart home where it can actually be smart and not just appear to be smart so let's find out how to get this done let's go all right guys so let's get started configuring stuff and we'll start breaking the faceless triggers barrier and I will try to keep things in a chronological order because I think it will help you better understand the overall picture. As you can see, I'm already logged into my Unify Protect and you will already need to have a Unify Protect uh, system already running with facial recognition capable cameras and faces already configured. We will tap into them. So let's quickly create an alarm. Let's name it test webhook we, the action we are looking for is id of a specific face and let's select my face i only have currently a single camera capable of facial recognition so i'll select it and the action will be of course webhook but not a slack post a custom webhook in delivery url well, in the, as I said before, in the machine world, a webhook is like in the human world, an email address. So Unify Protect is actually asking us, what is the email of the person you want to notify? And the URL will be the URL you are using to access your home assistant. I'm accessing my home assistant from behind a Cloudflare tunnel. You might access it from a dynamic DNS address. Regardless, just paste in here the URL of your home assistant. That's what I'm going to do right now. And then we'll need to add to the end of the URL slash API slash webhook slash. And now we are missing a sort of a string that Home Assistant will generate for us. So now it's time to go into Home Assistant. And I'm already 
in the automations section of my home assistant so let's create an automation an empty one in the trigger let's select the trigger and search for webhook and this is the string that we are looking for please treat this string as if it was a password or an api token don't share it to anyone don't show it to anyone it's something that you need to keep confidential to yourself just copy it and paste it to the end of the delivery url click on advanced settings and make sure the method is post and not get at this point we can create the alarm in unify protect but since i'm accessing my home assistant from behind the cloudflare tunnel i will also need to click on the gear icon and uncheck only accessible from local network that's my setup your mileage may vary but at this point in time we have actually done it we have broken the faceless triggers barrier and we can actually test it and we can see if one side can actually talk to the other side so in back in unify protect let's select our test webhook alarm click on edit alarm and we can actually click on test alarm to fire manually the event so we'll do that and then we'll quickly switch to home assistant to see it actually the automation triggered so let's click on test alarm test alarm and as you can see we are getting a trigger here so now we know that one side actually meets the other side and then automation can actually happen not not only that it's not faceless it's face specific so for example just as an example you can of course take whatever conditions you need and whatever actions you need but i can just for example add an action to search for i don't know option number one will be if my living room ac is off go ahead and turn on my living room ac and you can of course do a series of actions according to the time of day or which entity is turned off and you want it to turn on you can also add uh, i don't know a, a text to speech like like i did before as you as you saw in my previous example to greet you welcome home and i really think this is one of these moments where your smart home actually takes a big leap forward all right guys so i would like to end with a few thoughts here first of all if you like this video and uh, and you see the potential of what i showed here please consider giving this video a like it will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm second of all i'm pretty sure that this concept will not be able to replace all of the triggers in all of your automations so it's probably more of a supplement rather than a full replacement i'm pretty sure also that a lot of users are asking themselves that other than the combination of Unify Protect and Home Assistant, what other camera systems are compatible with this kind of facial recognition triggers? I'm hearing that Eufy system with the home base are also compatible, but I would love for you guys to add in a comment. If you're using any other camera system that is compatible, please let other users know. I'm pretty sure that the community would love to know. And of course, let me know also in a comment below what automations did you create what were your ideas? How did you take it to the next level? I would love to know your ideas. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.